It's not your typical zombie episode. It's not some evil doctor or, or, or somebody who brought that person back for nefarious reasons. It was, it was done out of a human emotion of, you know, of, of, I want to bring back a loved one. I've realized you're the only one who ever really loved me. That was one of our first zombie attempts. What I liked was our non-zombie look. We kind of went away from that classic Romero kind of look. I thought it was really effective. It was an episode that kind of illuminated Dean's psychological state. And again, it was the zombie. It's a stand-in for him and how much he wanted to destroy himself. At that point of the series, he was a zombie. He was brought back from the dead. Shouldn't have been. It was at a terrible cost. And we played a lot in that season about Dean's flirtation with death and how much he actually wanted to die. I was dead. I should have stayed dead. Which is, you know, unique for on any show on network television where you have pretty much a suicidal main character. And again, it was sort of what we were looking to do more in that season, which was let's start with where the boys' heads are at and find a way to make their internal demons external. I don't! <laughs> Characters are pushing back against death and trying to outsmart death, make deals with death, supernaturally avoid death. But time and time again, what happens to the characters is that they have to pay a terrible price for it. And I think the message of the show is that death is natural and that there is a sort of cycle to life and that if you mess with it, bad things will happen. What's dead should stay dead. <laughs>